schedules to work out. And so we're just going to put it off and not do it or just wait until later in the season. And I started watching the race and see the Haas go off. And I assume it's Mikita Mazepan. I paused the race and decided, you know what, I'm just going to do the show because I have some notes in here about him. So uh, this is a We Missed the Exit show, and uh, we're going to do an F1 show. And why are we doing an F1 show? It's been a while since been into F1. Loved it as a teenager. Got out of it through college. And then just started getting back into it. Really love F1. And we'll talk more about that when we get Evan on here. Uh, the show, we're going to hopefully do it before each race. Talk about our predictions. Maybe talk about uh, the last race if we have time. And then um, we're just fans of F1 and looking to do a sports cast together. So last season... Uh, driver's Championships, Lewis Hamilton number one, Botas number two, Mercedes right up on top. Uh, no real surprise there. Uh, Verstappen number three, he did retire out of uh, five races last year. So I really think he would have been at least second. I think he would have been second last year if he didn't retire. Um, Hamilton missed one race. So uh, even missing one race, uh, clear champion. But uh, again, Verstappen, I think he would have been number two if he hadn't mit- retired from those five races. And then uh, Stroll over Gasly is a little bit of a surprise. Or, uh, sorry, Gasly, uh, Stroll over Gasly. Um, but this is last year, um, and we'll see what happens. A couple guys new with new teams, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, Constructors Championship, no, no surprise there. Number one, number two in the drivers. Obviously, number one, Mercedes. Uh, Red Bull. Number two, McLaren. Number three, Racing Point. Uh, number four, Renault. Number five, Ferrari. Number six, Alfatari. Number seven, Alfa Romeo. Number eight, Haas. Number nine, Williams. At the bottom with zero points. And uh, I think we're going to see a lot of midpoint shuffle again this year. And uh, hopefully Ferrari can bounce back. They were big failure last year after their uh, the penalty that no one speaks of but we'll see what happens um driver championship predictions for 2021 um so we have three rookies uh two of those rookies are going to be in haas um one rookie on alpha tori um you have suda replacing kavat I wasn't a big fan of him anyway, so uh, let's see what the F2 driver does. Uh, Perez moving from Racing Point to Red Bull. I think this is actually a step up for him. I think he's going to be uh, great this year. Uh, Ricardo from Renault to McLaren. I think that's going to be good for him too. Uh, Vettel moving from Ferrari to Aston Martin. I think that's going to be a surprise uh, loss for him. Uh, Alonso, Fernando Alonso returning, right, racing for Alpine. And then uh, Sainz, of course, moving from McLaren to uh, Ferrari. And I think that's also uh, going to be good for him. So, uh, as I said before, uh, predictions. We're going to just do the top 10. Uh, I actually think for Stappen in the car, I think as long as he doesn't have any mechanical problems, he's going to be number one. And Hamilton, number two, I think they're going to have a great year uh Two of the best drivers, two of the best cars. I think they're just going to be fighting for, fighting back and forth. I think it's going to be the one of the best championship runs we've had in a long, long time. Uh, Perez, I have number three. Like I said, I think he's stepping up, moving from Racing Point to Red Bull, and I think he's going to prove that uh, that car, although he did have a couple mechanical failures in qualifying and uh, formation lap, I, I think they get that strained out, and I think he's going to have a great year. Um, Ricardo, I think is going to be number four. I think his move from Renault to McLaren works out really well for him. He's a good driver. Uh, Botas moving down to number five. I think he can't quite figure out what's wrong and his car just fails on him. He just gets frustrated. I don't think he, he's able to put a good season together here. Uh, Leclerc, I think he's going to be number six. Norris at seven. Uh, Sainz going to be at eight. Akon at 9, and Vettel moving down to 10. I think the move to a racing point for him is going to hurt him. And uh, I think it'll be a good year for those guys. 
and as I said before, uh, Mazepin, I think he's a, a worse stroll. I think he's, uh, Cavada was very worried about last year. I thought he's going to be dangerous. And I think uh, Mazepin is going to even be more dangerous. Uh, and that Haas, it's not a great car. I think he's not a, I think he's a horrible driver. And the only reason he's there is obviously because of his daddy's money. And uh, I think he's going to be dangerous to be out there. Obviously, they can't get rid of him because of all the money involved. But uh, like I said, I saw him go off, and I, I I thought I saw him go off. And I just feel like it's going to be a bad year for Haas to begin with. And just having him in that car is also going to be bad. And my hot take for this coming season is going to be Nico Hulkenberg. I think he's going to return again. I think he's going to get more than just two races like he got in last year. Uh, last year, two races with uh, Racing Point, and he scored uh, points in both races. And the really big hot take, I think he replaces Botas during the season. Construction Championships. Uh, I'm going to have Ferrari at number one. They were number two last year. Mercedes moving down to number two. Uh, they obviously won last year. McLaren, I think, is going to stay at number three. Uh, Ferrari is going to move up from sixth and move into fourth. Alpine is going to stay at five, I, although I think they have a better car this year. I think uh, Ferrari is just that much better. I, I think they're going to uh, surpass them. Aston Martin dropping down to sixth. I think their car is not that great this year. Uh, Stroll, I don't know if he has something going on. And um, Vettel, I, I think he's just... I'm not sure what's going on, but I think that move is not going to work out well for him. Uh, AlphaTauri, I think, is going to stay at 7. Uh, I think they have a, a much better car, good drivers. I think they have a bright future. And Williams uh, moving. Going to actually get points this year. I think Williams is going to move from 10 to 8. Uh, uh, passing Alfa Romeo, uh, who's going to move down to number 9 from number 8 last year. And then Haas. Uh, if they score any points this year, it'll be a miracle. Uh, Schumacher, uh, I think he has a bright future, uh, comes from a good heritage, but that Haas car is just not that good this year. And I think this year we're going to have the first first new champion in seven years. Like I said, uh, Verstappen is going to win over Hamilton. I think it's going to be great going back and forth all year. Uh, I think Ferrari makes the big jump. I think uh, they got the Michael Jordan treatment where they kind of got the slap in the wrist, the unofficial punishment that no one talks about. I think their car is going to be uh, moving back up. I think they're going to be a uh, contender champion maybe next year. We'll see. They got some great drivers, young drivers. Uh, Aston Martin, like I said, is just going to drop. They are not going to be that great. Um, I think they have some issues they need to work out, uh, especially since they're not able to steal anybody's car this year. Uh, and I think Perez saved that team last year. Uh, Vettel, while a great driver, I think his best years are behind him. And there, no driver, I think, could come in and save that team this year. Uh, I think Williams is going to make a comeback. Uh, Williams is going to move back into the middle of the pack. I think they're going to be a, a mid-pack team. Uh, this year and years to come, I, I think that's going to be good. And Haas has given up. We'll see if they're even a team next year or see what happens. Uh, but thanks for watching, and uh, we'll get Evan on the show and do some real commentary soon. Thanks.